Well, everybody got the uh, 1963 Lincoln trunk deck back from the Dippers. I want to show you what we got. It actually came out pretty good. And you can really see these little tiny holes that I thought we were going to see once it got cleaned up. But the metal came out nice. I think that we can salvage this thing. But uh, let's check it out. All right, here we go. Trunk lid. This is the inside of the skin. Uh, the reason I cut it apart was because we have all this rust festering between the two layers. And there's actually little holes clear through to the top side. And if you didn't get to it in here, it's always going to rust back through the top side. Now, like I said, there is no skins available for this. So I thought maybe this is the best way to do it. But I uh, got my work cut out from getting this thing back together. But even through that real hole, the bracing was at those little tiny pits. And then every once in a while, one of those little pits pokes all the way through the top side. So that would have caused blistering and bubbling in the new paint job. Now, the inner frame, that looks fantastic. It came out great. I wish that the top came out as good as the frame did. But same thing. Now, this has all been acid dip treated and neutralized but the next step would be to get the paint to stick it needs to be scuffed or sanded so the paint will adhere to it put paint right on top of this right now and it wouldn't necessarily stick it want to peel back off so i plan to hit all this with a uh, self etching primer both the inside of this and the inside of that and then get prepped to put the two pieces back together so next step is kind of scuff this whole thing up and put a coat of self etch primer on it all all right Got that all uh, sanded up, primed, and got a nice layer of self-etching primer on both the inner structure and the skin itself. But something that needs some serious attention here is the inside of the trunk here. As you can see, I got some rot through to the outer skin, so I'm gonna have to make a metal panel for that. And the reason I don't wanna do the metal panel for this stuff is I don't wanna warp this panel whatsoever. It's just too big and flat and beyond my skill set, what I have here at home to work with to get that straightened back out if I started welding inch patch panels in this thing. So we're gonna do it this way, but I can, I feel pretty confident I can make this panel here, make a piece go in that, but I'm gonna lay this skin back on top of that while I'm working on it to kind of give it some structure. This thing just, I'll tell you, it just flops around. There's not much to it. So I'm gonna pick this up, put it on there and come up with a plan to cut that thing out. Now, I'm not going to drag you along on cutting out patch panels and welding those in. That's kind of self-explanatory. That's been done before. The point of this video is maybe an alternative technique for welding two rusty panels or reassembling two rusty panels back together. Step one, I'm going to grab the uh, sandblaster here and actually sand it out the pits real good so it cleans the metal and preps it for the panel bonding adhesive that I plan to use and also use that adhesive to kind of squeeze through the holes, kind of like the you know, Play-Doh factory. The same thing here to the inner frame, got it all cleaned up where the two panels will make contact with each other. The factory used some kind of foamy junk, but I'm going to use this uh, panel bonding piece, this 3M stuff here. It works great. It'll actually glue together and holds just about as strong as welds. Mixing tube and there's the uh, special gun to make it happen, but I'm going to lay a thin bead on all this, flip it up on top here, sandwich it together and hope that it squeezes through all the little holes here so that uh, I can kind of level it off on the top side and bond these two together permanently. get you in a little bit closer see what I can see both panels lined up nice the panel bonding adhesive is kind of squeezed out kind of like I'd hope looks similar to factory and now I gotta get the uh, spot welding done all the way around about 20 feet of weld and I'll tell you what this took absolutely forever but it's coming out nice buff those down put a little body filler in it minimal body filler needed which is added bonus and the best part is it's exactly where the weather stripping rides you remember from the first video so I could hide all that behind the weather stripping in case well it didn't come out perfect so loving how that's looking so like I said minimal body filler next thing here I'm gonna flip it over to the uh, top side but uh, this is about ready to put epoxy primer on so I say inside done let's flip this thing over and take a look see now here on the top side, the stuff kind of squeezed through like stalactites. Now, of course, it's flipped back top side. And as it was curing, I actually leveled it off. You get about 90 minutes of work time for this stuff sets off and turns in hard and good bonding. But like 24 hours, we actually work it a whole lot. So i uh, let this thing sit out here and let it cure. But next thing is going to be I'll sand these things all flat and see what they look like. 
Now you can see here I'm doing some sanding. Well, now you can really see the pits. It's highlighted them, but this thing is glued and sandwiched. I don't see it moving anywhere. I think it's a better alternative than welding and warping and damaging the panel, but this is a bit of an experiment. I don't know if anyone's ever tried this before. I guess we'll find out this is a great idea or epic fail, but I'm hoping it works out really good. And next up here is wipe this thing down, get it ready for a coat of epoxy primer, and ta-da, all done, TV magic, I love that stuff. But nonetheless, it came out really slick. The epoxy primer laid out nice on top of the bodywork. Now this isn't a finished coat. It still needs high build, block sanded, and probably has some blemishes here and that it need filled in, but really need to uh, go ahead and put this thing back on the car and test fit it to the car, meaning that it was cut in half. Well, who knows, is this corner high, that corner high, whatever, it may be all twisted, so I really need to test fit it for doing final body finish on this thing here. So I'm hoping it come out good, but we'll find out, get tested on the car, and then we'll kind of make adjustments if needed. If not, finish the body work, get this thing painted, and get back on the car. Now, so what have we learned about $110 in materials, 15 hours of labor. We now have a usable trunk deck that needs a little bit of sanding, a little bit of finish work for a final paint, but I guess I would need to get this thing tested. And it's gonna be some time before it gets the final paint on this thing, unfortunately. He's got some other body work, change an LS swap on the old Lincoln. So the goal was this video was how can you recover or repair a panel that is not available aftermarket? It's like obsolete. What are your alternatives? Now, I didn't think anyone made one, but come to find out there's a guy who sells these made out of fiberglass. In and outer shelves, fiberglass, they look pretty good online, the pictures, for a sum of $3,500. I'm not saying it's not worth it, because I'm sure it's not an easy thing to make, but would you rather spend $3,500 on a fiberglass one, or about $100 of material and 15 to maybe 20 hours of labor to get this one doctored back up? Hmm, well, of course there was another 200 bucks for the dipping, so. Anyway, nonetheless, less than $500 in this thing, and I think it's actually in a very usable condition. I hope it holds up for him. And of course, I'll keep you guys posted as soon as he gets it painted. I'll put some pictures on here and keep you in the loop if you're interested. But after that, a little back to work on these Firebirds. That's kind of what I like doing the most. And I just got kind of talked into this. I wanted an experiment with it because let's just say someday I find a 1969 Trans Am original hood that needs some doctoring. Well, I may use a similar technique because I've already tested it, tried it, now we're going to prove it if it's any good and i'll let you know and if that's the case i can use it on that so now anyway, done with the lincoln time for firebirds when i get back here playing with the old firebirds get the camera drag you guys along and then get back to playing with what i've got a couple happening in here so until then you guys stay safe and uh, we'll see you next time